Fish with D. That's me. It's time for another Cook with D. This actually was going to be part of a collab, but I think it kind of messed up. But we're going to make it a Cook with D. So buckle up. This is a recipe from the app, our WW app. It's called Tuna, oh, Quick Tuna Puccinesca. Yeah, love me a good Puccinesca. So I'm going to turn you around and uh, yes, I'm wearing different clothes because it was yesterday and yeah, it's a whole long story, but enjoy the tuna, quick tuna puccinesca. Here are the ingredients we're going to need. A can of chunk light, I mean a chunk white, solid white albacore tuna, onion, a bell pepper, it calls for an orange one. I have a red one. I don't really think it makes that big of a difference. Some capers, some kalamata olives, some fire roasted tomatoes, some garlic, some olive oil, and I'm using chickpea pasta. Why, you ask? I really don't know. I'm not a fan of this chickpea pasta with tomato sauce, but this puttanesca, I'm gonna give it a try with. And for the purple people, this would be a zero point pasta. So yeah, I'm trying to, you know, to give a little love to the purple people, purple people eaters. All right, there's a few other ingredients that I will, we will get to when we are cooking and there are not many. All right, let's turn around and let's get started on this quick tuna puttanesca. All right, let's get started. Well, our water's already boiling. So we're gonna drop our chickpea pasta. Like I said, I'm not a fan of chickpea pasta, but I might work with this. All right, how long does this say bad boy to cook for? All right, nine to 11 minutes. I definitely say go for the 11 minutes. Sorry about that angle. Okay. I like to cover them up. Put our, all right. And we need a, sorry about that, tablespoon, no teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil. Oop. Okay. And our onions and peppers. Now I'm doubling this. This is really made for a single recipe, but I'm doubling this for two people. And you could absolutely make it four and five. So we're gonna saute these until they're um, tender, about five minutes, and then I will bring you back and we will continue with the next step and it won't be much after that. This is a quick puttanesca. Okay, our onions and peppers have been cooking away for five minutes. You can see how clear the onions are and the peppers are tender. I was supposed to put the garlic in, but you know, yeah. I have no fear. Alrighty, put that garlic in, get that heated through. Can of fire roast tomatoes. You don't use half of this if you're only making one serving, but I'm, like I said, making more than one. Tomatoes go in, and the capers, and the olives. And I am actually gonna put in, hold on, some crushed red pepper flakes. Again, totally optional, I just happen to like it. Just about a half a teaspoon. Crush it in there. Our pasta is still cooking away. And we're going to put it in our tuna. It tells you to toss it in, but I'm just going to put it in here because why not? lovely is that? The pasta is almost done. So I'm just going to chop this up, break these pieces up. It goes all through our puttanesca. And literally, the longest thing it was was the five minutes to cook your onions and pepper. This sauce came together so quickly. Look at that. 
smells really good too. So I am going to let this cook for another minute or so and then I'm going to drain our pasta and when we're going to come back we're going to plate this bad boy up. Okay here is the puccinesca all plated up with my I believe that is eight points of pasta that I put in my bowl. If you were on purple that would be zero. And here's the sauce. Smells really good. It came together extremely fast. But hey, as we know, it could look really good, but does it taste really good? Because if it doesn't taste good, no one's going to want to eat it. So let me turn you around and we're going to have a taste. Okay. So let's see. Let's get this other tomato keeper. And some pasta. Oops. All right, let's give it the dish with the bite. I don't know, but I'm one of the few people that actually taste their food on camera. You have to let me know if that bothers you or you, or you actually like it, because, I don't know. I think it's fun. Mmm. <laughs> it's good. See, I love capers and I love olives. That briny, salty thing, that's my jam. So, yeah. This is a winner in the Dish with D world. Give it a try. I'm not sure. I mean, your kids might not like it if you have kids, but some kids might. I think it's different. And like I said, you can put on any pasta you want. I'm choosing to use a chickpea pasta because I'm not a fan of chickpea pasta, but with this, it doesn't bother me because it's not traditional spaghetti sauce. It's a little bit exotic. So yeah, the chickpea pasta to me works in this. So one more bite. I'm gonna go eat. Have a great day. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed eating it. So yeah, the recipe will be in the description box below. Like I said, I got it off the WW app. So it's always fun to find recipes on the WW app. It's quick, easy, and I happen to have everything on hand, hence why I made it. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video and welcome to the new subscribers. If you're coming from somebody else's channel, give this video a like, subscribe, and we will dish another day. Thank you.